Hi hey guys, just doing this video is kind of like a recap of i49 and special effects in general, like the heel thorn. Uh, just want to say thank you to everyone that showed up in the stream, it was really awesome. I uh, had a lot of support from Webb's family mainly, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Webb's mum and brother pretty much stayed in the stream consistently throughout the whole thing, and it's like nearly 30 odd hours I was streaming for. So uh, first things first, donation giveaway. That's going to be happening pretty soon. Donation giveaway is going to happen a week from today, okay? So you've got time to donate, you've got time to get into the, into the actual donation giveaway. Uh, I have the mouse and everything right here. I've got the starter kit. Uh, the mouse. Gemma got this from the TT Sport guys whilst we're at the events. Really cool guys. That's really awesome of them to do this. It's brilliant. So there's this mouse up for grabs if you donate £10 or more. And then of course we've got the games as well. I might throw some points in there but we'll see how things go. Had some guys from different marathons like support me as well, which is really cool. Uh, Zelda Games Marathon, they made like a little Twitch kind of page for me. Uh, Game for Charity also posted on their Facebook. There was a lot of love. It was it was really cool. There was a lot of love from other people, so everything kind of got shared around quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on the Hailthon in general? Jesus, it killed me. <laughs> it knocked me, man. I didn't sleep for so long. Um, it was nice to meet everyone again and you know just catch up a little bit. It's a shame I didn't get to catch up fully with a lot with quite a few people because I was so busy. And then after the thon I was just knackered. But it was nice to have people by my side helping out and you know just talking whilst I was on the stream because it did get to a point where I was playing the games and I was so tired I just did not talk for like quite a long time <laughs> until somebody came over and started talking with me. If I had somebody to interact with, then I was fine. <laughs> but yeah, it was rough, man. I don't know if I told you this, but during ODST, if you look back at the uh, archives on the Twitch page, during Halo 2 and ODST, I actually nearly fell asleep quite a few times. <laughs> that was because they turned the lights off. Uh, it's like an annual thing that they do at, at um, Insomnia events. They turn the lights off at a certain time, everyone cheers. Uh, lights come back on about eight eight o'clock in the morning or ten, I forget. But man, that was tough playing a dark game like ODST in the dark whilst you're alone because everyone went off to bed. That was really tough, man. <laughs> I struggled, really struggled. But we got there in the end. Uh, completed all the all the Halo games on heroic in about thirty odd hours. We had a few hiccups. I'm sure some of you may may be aware. Um, the power went out at one point. Oh, God, we had more hiccups at the event than than I did at home <laughs> when I did when I did this at home. It makes no sense. But yeah, cool event. Otherwise, I uh, got to meet Mark from Special Effects. He said hi and stuff. We had a hug. <laughs> He's a really cool guy, and yeah, it was nice. It was nice to know that they were there to to kind of say hi and support. You know, I mean, got me some water. <laughs> Web, I want to say a massive thanks to Web as well, Alex. Uh, he actually bought me a pizza at one point because I was hungry. I think I only ate twice. Yeah, I had a pizza and I had a Krispy Kreme that um, Shari's friends may, may or may not have took without paying for. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had, a, um, had an illegal Krispy Kreme. It was nice. It's good. <laughs> Sticky fingers afterwards was a bit awkward. Uh, yeah, so it was really fun. Funny thing, actually, <laughs> whilst I was at the event, I'm almost positive that I got mis mistaken for Martin in Littlewood. <laughs> because, right, here's the story, right? Uh, me and Daniel Gaskin, the other Hail 2 um, old schooler <laughs> that was there, uh, we decided to just go over and check the Minecraft Expo out and see what was going on. Uh, we had a look, we, we saw the Hunger Games things going on, uh, the spleef. Uh, things that they had set up. They had the guys from the Hive there doing a bunch of games as well. I was gonna go. I was gonna play Hunger Games with Web on LAN, but uh, we looked at the competition. And we're like, because <laughs> a lot of the kids that went weren't that good, and it kind of seemed bad if we just joined and just started like wrecking them. <laughs> so we had a little bit, a little bit of a look, and that was about it. When me and Gaskin went over to the main hall, uh, we sat down on the Halo 2 station that has like the old original Xbox and the CRT TV setup. Oh, that's so much fun, so much fun. I think the highlights, apart from playing like the 4v4 and have a lot of fun with that with some of the guys, I'm pretty sure two, there's, there's one person that's subscribed to me now that we did play against. Um, I forget his name. 
but there was two guys on the opposite team that we were playing against and I was positive that they were avid Halo 2 players just by the way they were playing and how they knew the map. <laughs> so there was a bit of a challenge, it wasn't like just slaughtering like random noobs <laughs> I was expecting it to be. So we got a bit of a kick out of that, it was really fun, I had a few laughs. I was pretty much just trying to double shot everyone. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Anyway, uh, yeah. Me and Dad had a lot of fun. Getting on to the story about me looking like Martin and Littlewood for some reason. Um, I was sat on the Halo 2 station and pretty much... Because the whole the whole room was just full of Minecraft like, kids, like Minecraft um, fans. And we were sat on the Halo 2 station. I was playing away. And pretty, I, I counted about five or six times. Somebody would walk up to me. I would be like playing like that. And then somebody would walk up, stop... Turn around and do like a double take, just like like that. <laughs> it happened five or six times, and a few of them just stopped and stared for a while to wait for me to talk or something, just to see if it was Martin and the little ones. <laughs> so, guys, apparently, I look like Martin from the Oxcast. <laughs> Unless I'm apparently famous and I don't know it, but I'm almost positive that it is Martin that I look like. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, uh, the other highlight of uh, that little Hail 2 thing was I pretty much made this little kid's day. Oh, it was so funny. His little face lit up. What, what I did was um, we were playing Hail 2 and it was the pre-patch. If you're not aware what the pre-patch version of Hail 2 is, um, it's very glitchy. There's a, there's a really kind of game-breaking glitch that's in it where you can sit in the passenger seat of a warthog uh, with a sword. If you slash or lunge at somebody whilst in that warthog if you like target somebody and it goes red lunge and that person walks away when you get out of that warthog's passenger seat you will start flying towards wherever you're looking the distance from which that person traveled so <laughs> i told this kid i said because he looked bored he was just playing by himself this is probably like the highlight of his little hill two experience so i just went up to him i just went do I see something really cool on this game? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so I explained to him like briefly. I think it was about six or seven. I explained to him briefly that this game has a lot of glitches, and he's like, oh, I love glitches. I think like, this is gonna be hilarious. So I did it. I, I, I set it up for him. We were on coagulation. I set it up, and uh, he went flying across the map. And his little face, oh my god, it just lit up like a Christmas tree <laughs> when he started flying. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. That was one. That was one of the little highlights of the little uh, Minecraft Expo thing we went through. I didn't get a chance to meet uh, Hat Films, unfortunately. I think I was like an hour or two out after I finished the, the actual stream to meet them with the like meet and greet thing. That was a bit of a shame. Apparently Alex got to meet Sips or Shin. I don't know which one. It might have been Sips. Because uh, he was just kind of wandering around, which I think was really cool. Uh, it seemed a bit weird because a lot of the Minecraft kids were like looking out for people, like trying to see, but none of them really came down and interacted with the, the community as far as I saw. It was kind of just like a meet and greet thing where you just had to like kind of, they sat in their room, you waited in a queue, and then that was it. Which I thought was a bit pants. It would have been nice to just see them kind of walking around, but I guess they probably would have been mugged. They probably were advised by the security, to be honest, <laughs> to say, yeah, if you go down to this, this the, the, <laughs> the expo floor, Probably not a good idea. It might cause a few kind of fire restrictions. Like if there's a fire, not many people could get out because <laughs> it'd just be blocking every area. So yeah, all in all, it was a really fun event. So I enjoyed meeting everyone again. Uh, big thanks to Ed, pretty much everyone that I stayed uh, around to help me uh, through the stream. Uh, big thanks to Adam as for driving me down. Jesus, that man is a hero. He drove all the way from Scotland, uh, picked me up on the way. It's like seven hours. He drove me and Adamac down. Adamac turned out to win the tournament, which was really funny. <laughs> it was like we were talking about it on the way down. I was like, Adam, are you think you're gonna win? He's like, eh. I was like, I was just thinking in my head, I was clearly gonna win. <laughs> if you haven't seen Adamac play, he's a monster. Uh, thanks to everyone that helped. Thanks to everyone that donated. Thanks to everyone that was there for me to help me with like just getting through it in general with water and stuff like that. I took very little breaks, um, but when I did, people were there to help, and it was it was nice. It was nice to have that kind of. You know, reassurance. Uh, the main part of this video I wanted to get across was that the donation giveaway, it's not going to happen until next week, just to give people more of a chance to donate. So once that's happened, I'll release a video and I'll show exactly who's won and everything. I'll say, yep, this is this is going to such and such, this is going to you. Get ready for your mail package to be in the mail. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I didn't answer. <laughs> 
But yeah, I uh, just wanted to say thanks to everyone for supporting me again. I know I've said this like five times already, but yeah, it was really cool. Don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, pretty much said everything I want to say. If there is anything else I want to say, I'll mention it in one of my Let's Plays. So yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys later.